alphabetical order because if you have arrow you have s you have t as long as they are multiplying they can switch at any point in time okay hello smart people here's a celebrity instructor alison in this smart video tutorial i want to show you how to make arrow in this equation this subject of the formula please make sure to like this video and share if you're just seeing this video for the first time all right so let's keep this simple so the first thing we need to do that's not specific rule but just i want to guide you here when you see square root remember we're looking for this arrow and this arrow we can't get it out of this square root if we don't remove the square root first so the best way to remove the square root is to make sure we take the square of both sides of the equation so let's look at the solution here so how do we take the square of both sides of the equation this is what you need to do you just to add the square here on the on this s and then on this part you also do the same thing keep in mind we're having this to be two arrow plus t over two arrow t please make sure to add square to this so by the time you have square root and square they easily cancel out when they come together like this so you have s squared equals all the left there is two arrow plus t all over two arrow t this looks a bit tricky because we're having arrow on the numerator we're still having arrow on the denominator but don't worry that's not supposed to be a problem we're going to fix this in one second so what we need to do right here is to cross multiply yeah we assume you have to be over one because s squared divided by one will still give us s squared so we've not made any uh different things there so if this cross multiplies by this or this multiplies by this this multiplies by this that's what we are supposed to do right now so if this multiplies this we should be having two arrow s squared t i'm just trying to follow it doesn't matter if you write two arrow t then s squared i'm just trying to follow the alphabetical order because if you have arrow you have s you have t as long as they are multiplying they can switch at any point in time okay so what do we need to do on this other part one multiplied by two arrow t plus t we have two arrow plus t all right so what's the next step please make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and then share this video let's keep going so what do we need to do at this point we're looking for arrow we're looking for arrow we're seeing area we're seeing area can we move this across so we just leave t over there why do we need to do that because we're interested in the arrow so we want to like uh, see how we can group them so that we can easily uh, factor out the arrow from that expression so like, when you pull this keep in mind it's having positive sign when it crosses over to this part it changes to negative of two arrow then we'll be leaving t on this part I hope you are making progress so the last thing you need to do at this point is that you notice that we have arrow on both sides so can we factor out arrow not only arrow we have so have two common to both sides but we're not interested in the two we are specifically interested in arrow so what do we need to do factor out the arrow so if i pull out arrow from this point what will be left is 2s squared t and if I also pull, pull out arrow here, so we'll be having negative 2 left equals t. All right. Now, we want to make arrow the subject of the relation. We want to make arrow to stand alone. So you divide both sides by 2s squared t minus 2. You do the same thing to this one, which is 2s squared t minus 2. All right, so this can easily cancel out with this. Therefore, R will equal to T over. We also notice that two is common to both sides. You can easily factor out two. If you want to keep it more simple, then you'll be left with, when you pull out these two, S squared T will be left here, negative. If you pull out these two, one will be left, not zero, please, it's one. That will be left. If you expand this, if you clear this bracket, if you, do that you definitely will have this so this is the solution to the problem and i hope you found this video helpful please make sure to hit the subscribe button 
turn on the notification bell so that when I upload new video, you get notification. And make sure to share this video and like for more. Take care of yourself. Peace.